Hey, this is the one and only store killer out here at the truck again this morning. It's about 93 degrees out here this morning. Whew, and it is hot. I am sweating. I don't know if you can tell or not. But uh, the old hat is pretty wrung, so is my hair. So what we're out here doing this morning, as you can tell, we already have the uh, already have the truck primed. Um, the doors here are ready to go. They're ready, setting on go. I have been taping up the back glass. That's what. That's what we're going to be doing today. Is taping up the cab. Like I said, last video. We're going to spray the cab first, and then we're going to spray the doors and the fender, and the cow and the hood. So that way it keeps down. As you can tell, this is dirt. So I'm going to have to wet this dirt down the night before. And that way, by morning, it will be damp, but it won't be wet. And it won't stick to the hose and cause a lot of problems. So here's what we're doing. We're taping up the rear glass here. We're just getting started here this morning. We're not uh, too far into it. It's really too hot too. It's supposed to start raining about four o'clock this evening. So it, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a scorcher today. So my main job today is is to get the truck taped up completely. Um, of course, if it rains tonight, won't need to wet the ground. The ground will already be wet because there's some. You can see the distance about uh, four inches. Underneath there, if the wind blows in at all, it will um, completely uh, saturate the ground. So I won't need to. Um, I won't need to wet it. So I'm trying to find my dry coat, but I can't find it this morning. Oh, here it is. Here's a kind of a dry, the dry guide coat I use, black. So I don't know if, if you out there, I'm sure you have, if you're watching this video, I would like to think or I would, would think that you are a car fan or a redneck fan, whichever. So what you do, you take, of course, take the lid off here. Take the lid off. Take the guide coat, turn it upside down. Shake it good. Spin this a little bit. What you want to do, if you never used this before, is just lightly, lightly rub, lightly rub the uh, the surface. What that does is that leaves that leaves some black coating. Get a little more here. That leaves a black coating, which will tell you if you have any problems so what we're going to do we're going to go over here and get uh i think this is 320 yep we're going to use 320 to block with and what we're trying to do here is just knock the, the coat off we're going to come back later and wet sand it with uh 600 or 800 but right now we're just trying to make sure there's not any flaws or any dents or anything of that nature. So what you want to do is just uh, work your block back and forth. And this also saves on having to do so much, so much uh, wet sanding. So just kind of give you an idea of what. How this process goes it builds up on there so you have to kind of knock it off from time to time as you can tell here there's not any dents so we're going to kind of cross hatch it we're going to go in a different direction here and that way we get rid of the rest of the, the guide coat and you'll see that You can see there's not any dents. It's smooth as glass, but that's what we're looking for. 
A lot of people use 180. I like using 320. I just like it better. It don't cut as fast. But it leaves a smoother finish when I get ready to wet sand it. Which it really wouldn't need to be wet sanded with 320. But I like the water as you spray it. As you spray the water on and wet sand it. I like to stand back and spray the water and watch the gleam off of the metal to see if there's any imperfections that I might have missed. So, so we're going to try the best we can to get this old truck as flat and straight as we can. That's my main purpose. So, it is a driver truck. Hey, this is the one and only storyteller. Back here at the tent. Just want to give you a rundown. The uh, tent survived. It did very well. No problems. No rips. No tears. No anything of that nature. As you can tell. All standing. It, uh, we got some heavy, heavy rains. Very heavy rains. Very high winds. If you think I'm joking about the high winds, I'll show you. There's the neighbor's tent. There's their tent. So yeah, we had some major, major high winds. And uh, kind of tells you the durability. The durability of the tent here. Tells you how strong that puppy is. Tells you how good it is. Tells you uh, it will work. It does last. And it's, uh, it's all good. Just want to give you a short video this morning. I'll give uh, another short video when I get the rest of the truck taped up. I uh, did get the back glass taped up one door before it started raining so this morning we're going to try and do the, we're going to try and do the uh, I don't know if you can see it in there we're going to try and do the windshield in the other door and uh, as soon as I get that done I'll, I'll present you with another video and uh, this morning do you see that those tents do work and they're pretty sturdy demolished in one tent to the neighbor so if you put them up right you set them up right you use the same configuration and the same tie downs as I did as you can tell they will hold like I said last one like to about 15 days being up a year and would have been up longer than that if uh, if a uh, the weight of the ice and the snow hadn't collapsed it so i know they'll last a year and a year for about 120 bucks to have a place to work on your vehicle then yeah or a shop to do cabinet work anything anything enclosed it's worth 120 bucks to have that kind of peace of mind so we thank you and i'll see you when i get it finished